Dispenser going up. Well, I guess that'll do. Hey guys, it's me, Uncle Danny and G-Man. <laughs> so, kind of a short video, but I uh, real quick want to talk about sentry spots a little bit. Um, you guys very, very often request that I do a video that would more or less be a showcase of all of the overpowered or quote-unquote best sentry spots on popular maps. Uh, this video is going to be a response to all of those requests, and the answer is no. Uh, I don't think that would be a very good idea. And here's why. Sentry placement can go one of two ways. The first way is you put the sentry in the spot where you always see it, and it gets kills because it's in an area where it is likely to kill people before they can kill it. Um, this is the most common way people play Engineer because there's a large NGC, NG do mentality along the player base because people seem to think that Engineer is a linear, mechanical, play-by-the-rulebook kind of class where if you're not playing the meta, you're just not doing it right. In my opinion, the second way to go about sentry placement, which also happens to be the more interesting, more fun, and potentially game-changing way to go about it is to simply be unpredictable uh, when it comes to placing your gun. The more creative you are, the more dangerous you are. I truly do believe that. The more you get your enemy to say, why is that sentry gun there, of all places, after they die to it, the more interesting sentry placement becomes. Uh, people seem to think that there are like 10 sentry spots per map. Well, I completely disagree with that. If you can build a sentry somewhere, if the floor you're standing on is buildable, that is a sentry spot. Uh, sure, you know, some are more likely to get destroyed than others, and some are less likely to get a ton of kills than others, but that's where the creative part comes in. You have to have an idea of what makes a sentry spot good. So it just combined the technical theory with a bit of creativity and innovation, and heck, you, you instantly stand out from the rest of the engineers, I guarantee it. So anyway, back to what I was saying about the video, well, you gotta understand that over a hundred thousand people are subscribed to this YouTube channel now, which means that every time I suggest something or feature myself doing something as an engineer, uh, there's a very high chance that a lot of people will instantly go into their game and be trying these things out in game. So you could imagine what a best sentry spots video would do to servers everyone will be fighting over the quote-unquote OP spots that Uncle Dane told you about which will in turn completely undo the progress that I'm trying to make towards spreading those sentries out and yeah spreading the sentries out is one thing but don't just put it in another common spot every demo man who didn't install the game yesterday will see that shit coming from a mile away and approach that area with caution which can give anyone the upper hand when they already expect a sentry gun to be in the sentry spot so Put a sentry in a spot where there never is one. Uh, put it around a corner where there, uh, no one is expecting one to be. You, you'll get a few kills that way and then move it to a different spot so that when they come back, they'll be ready for that sentry this time. But guess what, buddy? It's not there anymore. Where could that NG have put his gun this time? Who knows, but you'll be casually rocket jumping along expecting to be fine when suddenly, sentry gun. <laughs> My main point is, uh, Engineers already copy each other enough in this game. I really don't need to contribute to that problem by making a video that shows only where to place a sentry gun, but it doesn't actually teach engineers how to choose a good sentry spot to begin with, so. I mean, what about when Valve releases a new map? Are you going to be dependent on other engineers for your sentry spots, or, or me, your uncle, to tell you where to put your gun? Or are you going to be the inventor of the great new sentry spot that no one else saw coming because you came up with it with your superior knowledge of where a sentry spot will do the most work? I'll give you a hint, the right answer is the second thing I said. Don't be a copycat, be the NG that everyone fears because you don't play by the rules. And I'll end this video off with something my great grandpa Dane told my grandpa Dane, who told me, give a man a sentry spot and he'll kill for a day, teach a man a sentry spot and he'll kill for life. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will talk to your nieces and nephews next time. Bye-bye.